So let's just talk a little bit. We talked about manufacturing. We talked about automobiles. Let's talk about inflation. Because, you know, the, the, the media, they'll tell you, and, and, and this is one area where Kamala Harris, she can't quite figure out what she thinks. Because whenever they stick a microphone in front of her face, and that's rare, right? Kamala Harris very rarely does interviews, especially with hostile media. What she'll say, she'll actually brag about the fact that inflation is lower than it was when she took over. Now that's a bald-faced lie, and I'd ask anybody, think about the fact that Kamala Harris, anybody watching, think about the fact that Kamala Harris is bragging about inflation being lower. When you go to the grocery, does, does inflation feel like it's lower? No. Are, are American houses actually affordable for American citizens? No. Everywhere you look, prices are higher, things are more expensive, and American citizens can't afford the basic necessities. Look, I grew up in a family where my mamma sometimes struggled to buy the things that she needed. Sometimes she wouldn't buy prescription drugs so that she could afford to put food on our family table. I know what it's like when Washington leaders fail to do their job. And so Kamala Harris, instead of running a victory lap, over your own policy failures. Why don't you get out there and talk to the American people and tell them how you're actually going to fix this terrible inflation problem caused by your policies. You know, gas prices are up 45% under Kamala Harris. That's just in Michigan. In Michigan, home prices are up 41%. I know we, we have a lot of parents and a lot of grandparents in this room Speaking as the father of three young children, I would like my kids, when they grow up and move out, and hopefully that eventually happens, <laughs> but when they grow up and they move out, I want them to be able to afford home ownership in the United States of America. That's a core part of the American dream, right? And we know a lot of our young people right now cannot afford to own a home in the United States of America. Kamala Harris has failed to deliver the basic necessities of an economic prosperity for our citizens. And I think that we ought to say something very simple to Kamala Harris, and Donald Trump's very fond of saying it. You're fired. Go back to San Francisco where you belong. We're getting a president the American people deserve.